And now to a brawl over biscuits. Chocolate treat Tim Tams almost disappeared from Coles supermarket shelves. Biscuit maker Arnott's, owned by US food giant Campbell's, refused to supply the supermarket chain after a dispute about price hikes. Arnott's raised prices for some of its leading brands by up to 10%. After a tense standoff, Tim Tams are back in the aisles, but Coles has taken a hit and consumers are paying more. Here's finance correspondent Philip Lasker. What's the world coming to? A pre-Christmas price increase for Tim Tams. No, no, definitely not. I mean, I think you know, the price of things now are pretty high, actually. So nobody's going to pay more for normal biscuits. This outrage follows a dispute between supermarket giant Coles and biscuit maker Arnott's, owned by the American food giant Campbell's, which put up some prices by up to 10%. Well, we're talking about a large multinational US-based company. So, you know, we certainly asked Campbell's Arnott's to justify why they had this price hike and they weren't able to do this. Coles refused to pay the increase after claiming that many ingredients like sugar and palm oil had gone down. So Arnott's took the unusual step of refusing to supply them. There's not many suppliers that are able to take their products um, off the shelf. Four years ago, brewer Foster's refused to sell its key brands like VB to Coles and Woolworths after they planned to sell them below cost. And a product like Tim Tams carries similar clout. Rather than leave its shelves without these iconic products, Coles has backed down and accepted the price hike, but nearly half of it has been passed on to consumers. Nevertheless, the supermarket giant seized on the dispute to portray itself as the consumer's champion. Our customers on average have about $150 a week to spend on their groceries and they don't have spare change lying around to pay Campbell's Arnott's when they decide to lift up their prices. In a statement, Arnott's says our customers set the price at which they resell our biscuits to consumers, although we do collaborate with our customers to regularly fund promotions in store. It says around 99% of all biscuits Arnott's sell in Australia are made in Australia. But analysts say it's a rare victory for suppliers, victories the supermarkets are working to minimise as much as possible through their private label brands. Their brands make up some 25% of, of, um, of their turnover and they will continue to invest in their own brands. And the reason being is that it avoids the situation of the stronger suppliers um, being able to force price increases um, on the retailers. So round one of this dispute is over, but discussions between Coles and Campbell's are continuing over another round of price hikes the food manufacturer has planned for April next year. It's a power struggle suppliers are watching closely. The lesson for suppliers, and especially mid-market suppliers, is really that they need to look at their own brands and continue to invest in their own brands so that their brands continue to stay relevant. For once, Coles' trouble competitor Woolworths isn't attracting the headlines. No prizes for guessing how it's responded to Coles' Tim Tam price hikes.